This molecule released when mast cells degranulate. <laughs> That's not on there, is it? <laughs> okay. Well done, anyway. Okay, but I'll, I'll, I'll finish the question. This molecule released when mast cells degranulate mediate arteriolar dilatation, increased permeability. Uh, yeah, increased permeability of venules, itching, but not chemotaxis. Histamine. That's histamine. Okay. Do you understand? It's really, really quite simple. Okay. Okay, histamine, the main thing about histamine is itching. Okay. Okay. Prostaglandins, pain, and um, fever. Okay, leukotrienes are special. They cause smooth muscle constriction. They're implicated in asthma. That's what you need to know about it. Really simple facts like that. That will distinguish them from the exam. Um, do I have any more questions? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this sheet, it's like literally an orgy of information. <laughs> what does prostaglandin do? It's like, like the good thing. So it also causes vasodilatation, it also causes increased vascular permeability. So it aids in the inflammation process. And nothing different The fever thing, the pain thing. Pain is a good thing. If you know that it's painful, that you know there's something wrong with it. Generally, they don't. Yeah. What I'm saying is, for an exam, what they'll have is this molecule causes fever, and then you know it's prostaglandin type. Yeah. That's you don't need to know the process of it. You just need to understand the relationship to prostaglandin fever. That's right. Okay. Okay. Um, these phases. Sorry. Okay. These phagocytotic cells are found in the blood and are the first to enter the tissues in acute inflammation. They express C3B and XC receptors. Okay. Perfect. Yeah? They're easy, they're not they're not challenging, are they? That's why I was teaching you all those neutrophils. You know, it's not in your lectures, is it? No. Neutrophils, basophils, mast cells, which is a bit bollocks because they say all of this sort of stuff, but they don't teach it to you. So what's the yeah, point of saying it? Exactly. We even got asked that as well last year. We got questions about like neutrophils and basophils. You get asked questions about yeah. that and it keeps coming back even in second year. So it's a good idea to like get <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> exactly. Okay, um, another question. These cells generate antibodies and retain them as their, on their surface as their antigen receptor. B lymphocytes, B cells. B cells. Okay. <coughs> These cells are found in tissues. They express FC receptors and release histamine and other mediators of inflammation. Oh, Mast cells. cells. Okay. You can also say basophils if you really want to, but the main thing is mast cells. What? When do these cells uh, become cancer cells? When they get activated by a CD4 cell. So that be when they, that be before they produce the antibody? Okay, if it says in any question this cell secretes antibody, yes. then it's bad. Okay. If it sells, if it says it secretes antibody and it retains it as its cell surface membrane uh, on its cell surface membrane, then you know it's a B cell. Anything about retaining it on its cell surface is a B cell. Okay. Okay. These phagocytotic cells are found in in tissues. <laughs> These phagocytotic cells are found in tissues in granulomas, and they join up to form giant cells. Macrophages. People said it. I'm going to talk about that at the end, even the TH1 thing and the granuloma stuff. Granuloma, remember macrophages, okay? When you get activated macrophages, they form the granulomas, and you get things called giant cells and epithelioid cells. Giant cells are basically loads of macrophages all stuck together. They're multinucleated. They have more than one nucleus. It's a giant, okay? It's lots of macrophages all joined together. They're, they're activated for it, so they're more potent. 
epithelioid cells are basically really long rod-like macrophages that are activated as well. Um, these phagocytotic cells are found in the blood, though they can enter tissues when necessary, specialize in combating helminths and secreting special destructive proteins. Eosinophils. Helminths, eosinophils. That's it. What's the for helminths? <laughs> Something like that. Okay? That's all you need to do in these EMQs. I think most of your questions are EMQs. They're not single best answers. Have you heard of single best answers? Yeah. Is that what your questions are now? Okay. With EMQs, the, the, the sort of the secret is look for the word. One word will give away the answer. With single best answers, think more deeply because I use multiple words to try and confuse me. Okay, EMQ is <laughs> one word. In this case, helminth identifies the answer as eosinophil. It's that simple. And last question, because I'm getting bored now. Um, <coughs> cells express class 1 and 2 HLA and co stimulatory molecules and are, most crucial, and are most crucial in activation of T cells. Yeah. Okay. So, I might have mentioned it last time, but that's what this lecture is about. Every single cell in your body, apart from red blood cells, because they don't contain a nucleus, have HLA-1 on their cell surface. Every single human cell, apart from non-nucleated ones, contain HLA-1 HLA on their cell surface membrane. HLA-2 is only found on things that can phagocytose. So it's any phagocytotic cell, and a B cell as well, because B cells are special. Okay, I said it's the most important in T cell activation. That's a dendritic cell. The dendritic cell is the first antigen presenting cell. So if it says that, you know it's a dendritic cell. Okay. Okay, that's enough with these questions.